All right, so check this out. Washington State, right? We all know it for, like, Seattle, coffee, maybe some mountains, whatever. But there's some crazy stuff bubbling up from that corner of the world, man. It's like the planet's got these hidden pockets, these layers of history and weirdness that we're only just starting to peel back. You know, one of the fascinating things they uncovered with woolly mammoths is that they didn't just find individual remains, there were entire fields full of them, like a prehistoric graveyard. And it makes you wonder what catastrophic event put them all there all at once. It's that kind of scale, that kind of mystery, that we're starting to see in Washington. Then through satellite imaging they realized something huge, it was the caldera of an ancient volcano. Imagine that, a massive eruption site and someone built a city on top of it. That's the kind of mind-bending revelation we're talking about. Washington, nestled in the Pacific Northwest of the United States has always been a place of stunning natural beauty and historical mystery. From the rugged Cascades to the deep waters of Puget Sound, this region holds secrets that continue to intrigue scientists, explorers, and the endlessly curious people like you and me who just want to know what the hell is really going on. Recently, Washington has captured global attention due to a wave of astonishing discoveries, each shedding new light on its mysterious landscape. It's like I've said before, Washington has this vibe, like it's quietly hiding something extraordinary. Whether it's dense forests, imposing mountains, or dark waters, there's a feeling that something unknown is just beneath the surface. That observation echoes strongly as we examine recent revelations from this enigmatic state. So, what has Washington revealed lately and how might these findings shift our view of history, nature, and the world around us? We're gonna dive into some wild stuff today. So, the Cascade Mountains. We see them, right? Majestic, snow-capped, a postcard picture of serenity. But underneath all that beauty, there's some serious geological drama playing out. Scientists using some pretty advanced tech have been essentially X-raying the Earth beneath those peaks. We're talking advanced seismic scanning, sending waves down into the planet's guts and listening to what bounces back. It's like giving the Earth a sonogram, trying to see what's cooking deep down, and man, what they found is a game-changer for how we understand that whole region. They've uncovered this sprawling network of magma chambers, not just one isolated pocket of molten rock under a known volcano like Mount Rainier or Mount St. Helens, but a vast, interconnected system. Think of it like the roots of a colossal, fiery tree, spreading out for miles and miles deep beneath the surface. This isn't just a few hot spots, it's a whole subterranean labyrinth of liquid rock, pulsing with unimaginable heat and pressure. It's the kind of thing that makes you look at those peaceful mountains a little differently. This network, they're saying, stretches extensively beneath the Cascade Mountains, linking up various volcanic centers in ways they never fully grasped before. It suggests a far more active and, crucially, a far more connected volcanic structure than anyone had previously imagined. It's one thing to think of individual volcanoes as, you know, ticking time bombs. Now let's shift gears from fire to water, but no less mind-blowing. Puget Sound. That intricate network of waterways, islands, and inlets in Washington. Beautiful place, right? People go boating, fishing, enjoy the scenery. But recently, divers exploring its depth stumbled upon something absolutely incredible. Something that rewrites the history of that entire landscape. They found ancient underwater forests. Yeah, you heard me entire forests standing silently at the bottom of the sound. Imagine you're a diver, descending into the murky green, and suddenly you're not seeing rocks or kelp, but tree stumps. Massive ancient tree stumps, still rooted in the seabed as if the water just rose up around them yesterday. These aren't just a few scattered logs, they're talking about significant areas where the ghostly remains of a terrestrial forest are preserved. It's like discovering a lost world, a snapshot of a time when this underwater realm was dry land, teeming with life of a different kind. These underwater stumps, scientists have determined, date back thousands of years, and the preservation is a key thing here. They're still remarkably well preserved. The cold, low oxygen environment of the deeper parts of Puget Sound has acted like a natural time capsule, protecting this ancient wood from the rapid decay it would experience on land. All right, let's head into the rainforests, specifically the temperate rainforests of the Olympic Peninsula in Washington. This place is already like something out of a fantasy novel. Massive trees, moss hanging everywhere, incredibly lush and green. It feels ancient, and it turns out it's still got some serious biological secrets to reveal. Researchers, guys who spend their lives slogging through remote wilderness looking for new stuff, they hit the jackpot here. 
they've discovered a brand new species of salamander. Now finding a new insect is one thing, but a new vertebrate, a new amphibian, in a relatively well-studied part of North America? That's a big deal. This isn't some tiny brown indistinguishable little creature either. This salamander is something special. It's found nowhere else on Earth, endemic to these specific rainforests, which tells you something about the unique conditions there that allowed it to evolve in isolation. It's a little ambassador from a hidden world within a world. The descriptions of this thing are wild. This tiny amphibian apparently features radiant iridescent skin. Imagine that shimmering shifting colors as it moves. You see these kinds of colors in some insects or tropical birds, but in a salamander from the Pacific Northwest, that's pretty out there. What's the evolutionary advantage of that? Is it for camouflage amongst glistening wet leaves? Is it a mating display? Scientists are probably going nuts trying to figure that out. And here's another cool part. It has unique traits suited for life high in the trees. This isn't your typical mud-dwelling salamander. Okay, so we've been under the mountains, under the sound, in the rainforest canopy. Now let's go deep offshore, into the Pacific Ocean off Washington's coast. This is near the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate, a geologically active zone where tectonic plates are grinding against each other. It's an area known for seismic activity, for hydrothermal vents, for all sorts of powerful natural processes. And it's here that researchers have recorded something truly baffling, a series of mysterious underwater sounds. These aren't your usual whale songs or dolphin clicks, or the rumble of an earthquake. These are different, they're described as low eerie frequencies. Imagine that, a deep resonant hum or groan coming from the abyss, something that doesn't quite fit any known natural or man-made source. They've even given these sounds a nickname, the Washington Whispers. That name itself just sends a little shiver down your spine, doesn't it? Whispers from the deep. The experts, the oceanographers, the acousticians, the guys who study this stuff for a living, are apparently stumped. These sounds have left them puzzled, scratching their heads. They've got hydrophones, incredibly sensitive underwater microphones deployed out there, listening to the ocean's symphony, and these whispers are an anomaly, a rogue note that they can't identify. When the people who are supposed to know, don't know, that's when things get really interesting. This has, as you can imagine, sparked a flurry of wild theories about their origin. Let's head back to the Cascade foothills, because the ground there is giving up secrets not just about what's it, but what used to soar it, long, long ago. Recent digs in this area have brought to light an absolutely stunning find, something that would have made your jaw drop if you'd seen it flying overhead, the fossilized remains of a new species of giant prehistoric bird. We're talking seriously massive. Paleontologists, sifting through layers of ancient sediment, uncovered these bones, and it's not just a fragment here or there, the reports say these are incredibly well-preserved fossils. That's gold for scientists because well-preserved remains mean you can learn so much more about the creature, its size, its structure, maybe even clues about its lifestyle. Finding something new is always exciting, but finding something new big well-preserved? That's a career highlight, this wasn't just any bird. The fossils suggest a massive creature, a true titan of the skies. Get this, they're estimating a wingspan of over 20 feet, 20 feet, think about that. That's wider than many small airplanes, that's like a modern condor or albatross on super steroids. Imagine the shadow that thing would cast as it flew over the ancient Washington landscape. It's almost beyond comprehension. Alright, for our last stop on this tour of Washington's hidden wonders, we're heading to eastern Washington. This is a different kind of landscape from the coastal rainforests or the volcanic cascades. It's drier, more open, a region heavily shaped by cataclysmic floods at the end of the last ice age, the Missoula floods. And it turns out it's been hiding an ice age secret of its own, a truly enormous one. Scientists, using ground-penetrating radar, which is like giving the Earth an MRI, sending signals down and creating images of what's buried beneath the surface, have revealed something astonishing they've found an enormous buried glacial lake. Not a little pond, mind you, but a massive body of water that's been hidden beneath layers of sediment for millennia. It's like a ghost lake, its presence only detectable with advanced technology. This lake is thought to date back to the last ice age, so we're talking 10, 20,000 years ago, maybe more. At that time, huge ice sheets covered large parts of North America, and as they melted, they created vast lakes, some dammed by ice, others filling depressions carved by the glaciers themselves. This newly discovered lake, 
was one of these, a significant feature of that ancient icy landscape. Imagine eastern Washington during that period. Instead of the dry scab lands and rolling hills we see today in many parts, there could have been this huge frigid lake reflecting the icy sky with glaciers possibly calving into it. The scale of these Ice Age features is just hard to wrap your head around. We see the evidence of the Missoula floods in the channeled scab lands, but a whole buried lake? That's another level of geological revelation. This discovery gives us a new lens, a new perspective, into the powerful forces that sculpted the region's geography. So, what do we make of all this? This hidden volcanic network, these ancient forests under the waves, a brand new iridescent salamander, those creepy whispers from the deep, a bird with a 20-foot wingspan, and a colossal buried Ice Age lake. The new discoveries emerging from Washington aren't just fascinating little tidbits, they're fundamentally rewriting what we thought we knew about the region, about prehistory, and about the planet itself. Every single one of these finds peels back another layer, revealing a deeper, more complex, and frankly, a more mind-blowing reality. It's like I've said, Washington is the kind of place where every new revelation feels like a portal to another world, another time. It's a potent reminder that there's still so much we don't know, so many secrets waiting just beneath the soil, or hidden behind the curtain of trees, or lurking under the crushing pressure of the waves. We think we've got it all mapped out, all understood, and then boom, something like this comes along and shows us we're just scratching the surface. It's humbling, and it's incredibly exciting. What do you think of these discoveries? Which one blows your mind the most? Could there be even more profound mysteries waiting to be unearthed in Washington, or right in your own backyard? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. I actually read that stuff. Don't forget to like this video if you dug it, share it with someone else who needs their mind expanded, and definitely subscribe to Galactic Insights so you never miss an update on the crazy stuff we're exploring. Hit that bell icon too, because trust me, we've got more amazing adventures and bizarre revelations just around the corner. Stay curious, people.